out of the ground, formed every beast of the field and every bird of the sky. Whatever the man called the living creature, that was its name. Valak, the defiler, the profane, the marquee of snakes. Sister Victoria's death was a terrible tragedy for the convent. But we still feel her presence. She was the most devoted out of any of us. Excuse me, sister. Forgive us. We're highly protective of our privacy. Some of the sisters would prefer I not speak to you at all. We appreciate your willingness to do so. Sister Awana, can you tell me about the history of this abbey? It was built by a duke in the Dark Ages. The Duke of St. Carta. He wrote countless texts on witchcraft and rituals in which to call upon the forces of hell. Hell used him to open a gateway so that an unspeakable evil would walk amongst us. Church stormed the castle. They sealed the gateway using an ancient relic containing the blood of Jesus Christ. The church claimed the castle for their own, and our perpetual praying began to secure the abbey and contain the evil. For centuries it worked, and evil was kept at bay until the bombs of war shook the abbey. And evil found another way to open the gateway. Sister Oana, last night in the chapel, I saw a nun. She was, she felt anything but holy. Do you see her too? I've seen her stalking the hallways at night. We all have. She looks like us, but she's not one of us. It's something unholy. It takes on different forms to deceive us and prey on our weaknesses. It appears as a nun, so it can hide among her cloister until it can corrupt us all. I fear her presence means the portal has opened again. It made Sister Victoria commit the ultimate sin. Sister Juana. Bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these expensive.